All right, everyone, it's time for the weekly reading. Here we go with the week of October 23rd through the 29th. This is huge, huge, H-U-G-E, all capital letters. This week, Saturn direct, a north node re course recorrection like we pulled on once before a while back. It's happening again. We get hit with another one, right? We had it last time at the top of September, I believe. Then we have uh, Venus moving into Scorpio as well on top of all of that. And then and we have eclipse season which starts and it's all between the 20, all of everything I just said is between the 23rd and the 25th. Just the beginning part of the week. This is the 23rd through the 29th I'm pulling on. So, and the universe has been talking about how it's eclipse season when, this, when the uh, soulmate cycle is affected the most by changes being made in October. You know, on the DM side, on the runner side. Wow. All right. Uh, pay attention to everything that falls on the table. It's one card for each sign with clarifiers. We're going to use the Rider weight and the little animal deck. Everything matters here. You're all part of a cycle. It doesn't matter what your sign is, really. This is just an exploded all signs reading. But, you know, we do split it up by sign. So, do what you want. There's a uh, text at the top of the description that explains why there's no timestamps for anybody new here. All right, here we go. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Okay, there you go. All readings are technically timeless because you're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. So keep that in mind. All right, I'm not a time lord. So this might happen this week for some of you. Might happen last week. Might happen next week or the week after. I don't know. Y'all different. Y'all snowflakes. Here's a pre-shuffle. The week of October 23rd through the 29th. What has been the hangman, and correct me if I am wrong, wasn't the hangman the first card on the fucking table yesterday on the Friday reading for Aries? I think it was. Hangman, what has been in the hangman is changing. It's a new, whole new, new perspective, whole new energy, whole new everything. What has been out in the cold. It's a fear of missing out energy here with the Five of Pentacles. Some truth is being spoken. It's a reconciliation energy with the Ace of Swords. We can't get rid of it. There is no fear in the energy right now, which we talked about, Saturn Direct and all that, and there's a lot of truth. We talked about that in my blog article. We talked about it. Whoop, whoops, did I say that? Which is all about the time I'm pulling on right now. Beyond that, what has been nothing what has been still? What has been crickets chirping? Right? It's about to get popping. It's a celebration energy around that. Something that you thought was dead, something that you thought was done, something that hasn't been moving, something that's been stuck, still, four flat tires stuck in the mud, is now back on the road. Somehow, some way. And I don't even, I can tell you. I, again, I can't predict free will. I don't know what a person's going to do. But I can tell you with this energy, there's, there's, there's been some, some changes within the runners for sure. You know, which, which should result in, in them wanting a better life at the very least. And you represent that. You were a big part of that. All right. And you will continue to be. They have a three of swords that they need to solve. And the only way they solve it is to come to you. It's a karmic debt. It's very clear in the energy. It's time for them to pay up. The collection person is calling from the universe. The universe is collection person. You best answer when they do. Our reading starts with Aries. It ends with Pisces. It could just say 1 through 12 if we want to. I clarify here. Everything matters. If it resonates with you, it's for you. Doesn't matter if it's in your chart or not. Aries. Four Pentacles. Wow. That is, again... We got a hangman crossed by the world, the most powerful card that I can pull. And this is the most powerful spiritual journey card that we can pull. Somebody here who's been holding back out of fear, protecting their heart with a pentacle. I don't think they do it anymore. I don't think so. What's, what's, uh, let's go. Week of the 23rd through the 29th. Here we go. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know. What do you think? Am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> now, why am I your second favorite energy reader? Fuck y'all. It's the chariot. Yeah. 
I knew that. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. That's it. It's the chariot. What else do I have to say? The energy crossing it is the chariot. It's time to no more. No more holding back, no more fear, no more protecting the heart with a pinnacle, no more. It just, it's determination, energy on crack. It's unreal. What's on top? Yeah! The Queen of Cups, the most love I could pull. Wham! We're starting big. I think the universe thinks it's a rock star. Rock stars always open the concert with the big hit, right? You want to get the crowd roaring, right? You go see Deep Purple, they damn well better open with something you've heard before, you know? Kiss opens with Detroit Rock City. You know, everybody knows that one. Right here. Queen of Cups. We're opening with Detroit Rock City here for sure. Queen of Cups. Most love I can pull from the deck. She gives the full cup. This motherfucker doesn't give anything. But with a chariot crossing it. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Ten swords. Oh, somebody feels the loss. Oh, somebody's put ten swords in something on their side. And now they can give to something else. These heads are facing the wrong way. She facing that way, he facing this way. They, they killed one thing to be able to move. Whatever it is, they've had a chat with somebody on their side here. It's happening within this week's energy. Which again, I'm not a time lord. Could be this week, could be next week, could be the week after, could have been last week. This is nice. Oh, this is going to be a good fucking reading. I've already pre-taken my Advil. You know this is the most powerful reading I pull. Uh, just by the time we're done, this is all. This whole screen is going to be fucking cards. All right, Taurus, three of wands. Somebody rethinking something. Okay, it's a good start because they ran from you or they left you for something better. One or the other. Somebody's rethinking something. In the Friday reading, I ask what they're thinking and feeling about you. In the Saturday reading here, the weekly reading, we ask what what actions they're likely to take. I think this motherfucker. He is going, oh shit, right. I wanted to be on that ship out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did. Why is the, yeah, you did. Why is the three of wands here? It's crossed by the seven of wands. Somebody used their free will to get in the own way of the happiness. All right? They allowed their, it, which is just fancy speak for saying they allowed their ego to win. Okay? Their ego never makes you happy. Ego, ego, ego wants short-sighted, instant gratification, right? Nothing long-term comes from the ego. What you get from the ego is someone who was married in a good relationship with a good person who got all excited because they banged someone 20 years younger than them and thought they were going to have a relationship with that. That's what you get when ego is involved. The ego is the instant gratification. It's the junk food energy, right? Uh, three of Pentacles on top of it. Yep. Somebody is rethinking and turning and just, again, uh, wants to build on a solid foundation. I don't see any ego here. Why is it um, I, yet? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they learned. They figured something out. Now, whether they do anything about it, I don't know, but I can say we did have a chariot here open in the reading. So, it's likely this person might reach out. I think I think they might be kinder than they usually are. I'm not sure how much they're going to open up. Okay? So, make sure, you know, if they come with swords, greet them with cups. I mean, I, I have no idea. It's a page. They open up at a page level to try to get something back that they lost. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. It wasn't. The grass is greener where you're at. All right? Sometimes when we look out on greener pastures, on new horizons, it bites us in the ass. We had the dream all along, right? You know, sometimes we don't realize that. Uh, with Gemini here. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Uh, I can't tell if this is somebody rebooting something on their side or wanting a new beginning with you. I'm going to vote for you. Mm. The universe is handing this person an out in something they feel tr they felt trapped in. It's handing them the, the ticket to ride, if you will. Okay. So, okay, let's see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? I, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Uh, something about this cloud on the other side of it that I'm not sure if they can, yeah, I'm not sure if they can see the forest for the trees. I was just about to say it. And there it is. It's the goat with his feet on fire, the devil crossing it. <laughs> right? Um, the universe is handing this person what actions they're likely to take. Well, the universe is like, go. 
Get your happiness. Get your soulmate. Have your solid new beginning. Right? But this person's in kind of a haze. They're under a spell. It's not a spell, literally. But you know what the word means. So I'm using it. Okay? Spells are just manipulation of energy. But in this case, it's, it's psychological manipulation. Right? So it's not really a spell per se. But they're under some kind of fog around them that something that is around this person, your person, your runner, has a lot of control over them. I, I'm hoping they see through it. It's not a lot left. It's mostly a clear day here. Let's see. The Ace of Cups. Well, that's become toxic. The universe is saying that in one level of energy. All this love they're holding on to is really getting toxic. And when it gets toxic, it gets acidic. And it'll eat right through that cup. Mm, why is the Ace of Cups here? Ace of Swords. That's nice. It's an energy of love wins the day, but this person might succumb and reboot something with the energies on their side because they have a lot of control over your person. They have a lot of sway with them. Okay? Um, that's the best I can say. Uh, the universe is basically saying here the, uh, the, the, the real hope. There's, there's an energy of reconciliation. Love could win the day here. But it depends how much your person is willing to see through the clouds and not get stuck in this quote-unquote spell energy. Somebody's got them in their, in their spell a little bit. And they know that they want out. They know they want truth. They know they want to speak a truth. And they very well might. But it depends. And I'm just being honest with you. I'm not being wishy-washy. I'm not hedging my bets. Right? I'm being honest. It depends. I can't predict what a 3D person will do. No one can. No one can predict free will. All right? I want to make that clear. Because you always get these assholes who write in every once in a while who think, well, you were very vague. You said they might or they might not. That's kind of covering your ass. No, it's just being honest. It's just life. I don't want to lie to somebody and say this person's breaking free because the universe is handing them a new beginning. Love wins the day and truth. They're going to speak their truth. They might. Okay, but that devil crossing there tells a story. Something's got a, a little bit of control on them. So for some of you, they will, and for some of you, they won't. And that's why. That's just reality. Cancer, the hot spot. Chariot cancer gets cancer. Wow! Gets the, gets the, the hot spot of the connection cycle gets the card that represents the connection cycle. Unfucking real The uh, Divine Masculine here... This is, I think it, it ugh, I think it really, really, really is part of eclipse season because you're ruled by the moon and this is cancer energy. Um, somebody here just, just pulls up the big boy, big girl pants and shows the fuck up. Uh, this is directly bookending Aries. So I'm as, I'm as juiced about this as I am about that. Um, why is the chariot here? Tell me about the chariot. That is awesome. I'm very happy to see that. All right, let's go. That is awesome. Why is the chariot here? Why? 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 Because, because, because they want something real. Four of Wands crossing it. They want something real. They want to actually get to the Ten of Pentacles. The real deal. Somebody here not only knows your value, they think you're stable, they think you're the bee's knees, they think you're the shit. Yeah, I don't... It, it is wow what is on top Jesus knight of cups yeah I mean it is as close to a fucking guarantee as I can give you I have not felt energy like this off of this and this is good for everybody every fucking person in this cycle whatever your sign is should pray to God and I've said this for a year now since I've been here should pray to God that cancer's connection drops that the person shows up and says how they feel. Because the minute that happens, the dominoes fall across the rest. It's the domino that pushes over all the other dominoes. You could take that for what it's worth. You could believe it or not. I've been studying this shit longer than a good number of you have been alive. And, and I can tell you, this is massive energy here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Oh, this is why. Yeah, 
three swords. Somebody's had enough. Enough is enough. They're pulling up their big boy, big girl pants. They've got to solve. What did I tell you in your reading? Wasn't it your cancer reading recently where we had the three of swords that they had to solve? Otherwise, they were going to be stuck in it. Here it is right here in tiny form from another deck. I know I didn't use this deck. It's right there. They've got to solve that three of swords. So they're just going to pull up the big boy, big girl pants and come in and offer you the full cup. All right. These cards directly bookend these. All right. And again, direct bookends. Three swords directly bookending the ten of swords. They've got to put ten swords in the three swords. They've got to put an end to this, to this pain. And these are in the right order. If these were in reversed order, I think it would still mean the same thing, but it wouldn't have the power because of, well, I need this direct bookend here with the ten swords and the three swords. That's, that's one of the best pulls I've ever done for you, Cancer. Pay attention to your last energy update. Pay attention to every fucking reading I pull this week. Your November readings, all of it. All right, it's a big week here at Steve's Love Tarot. I'm going to be fucking busy. All right, Leo. Oh, Leo. Oh, I remember you had a fucking tower yesterday. Oh, shit. I don't know what this is. I'm, I'm just going to take a peek. <laughs> I, lo I, I love the Leo soap opera. I know it's losing popularity. It's getting less views. But I fucking love the Leo soap opera. It's better than anything on fucking television. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If there's a TV producer watching, you write the Leo soap opera. I will help you write it. It is awesome. Death. We'll get, we'll get awards. Yeah, it'll be nice. We don't need awards because we're better than that. But death. Yeah. Tower yesterday and what they're thinking and feeling and death. It's change. Change. Somebody here. I have got to clarify this. I have got to. Something's coming crashing down. I told you that the other day. Um, I'm going to clarify this. The high priestess just fell on the floor. Um, I did, my intuition said keep shuffling. I'm just sharing with you. The high priestess fell on the floor. So we have to account some high priestess energy in all this. In other words, things that they've kept to themselves, I believe, are getting blurted out. I believe this energy, I, this is diarrhea of the mouth energy I've ever, if I've ever experienced it. I mean, it really is. And it's explosive with that tower from yesterday. Why is the... Yeah, this is some powerful, powerful shit. Judgment crossing death. Holy fuck. Fucking hell. But a high priestess that fell on the floor. I got to include that energy. Somebody here is done rebooting something. I mean, something happens. It could be something... Again, I'm just giving you an example. What would cause... What would this energy do? You think you're going to find, you think you're going to make up with somebody on your side, even though, because it's easier to stay with them, right? Because in the Leo soap opera, somebody's married or in a relationship and it's toxic. That's just the energy I get. You think you're going to make up with them and try again because you're too scared to go toward the uh, soulmate. But now there's no fear in the energy. These are, this is two people that go out to dinner and it doesn't go well. And, and, and one of them ends up taking a cab to a hotel, not even home. Um... Wow, I gotta see what's on top. Jesus, look at all these powerful cards. You think I'm making this shit up? I'm not. I, I'm not. High priestess fell on the floor. I've got the death card as the base. I've got judgment crossing. I've got. I've got the wheel of fortune. It's all fucking major arcana. Every single bit of it so far. It's all, and it's not the little shit. It's the big shit. This is a ten. It's the end. It's done. I point this out. This energy has been coming up a lot lately. Tens are the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning. The number 10. Extremely important. They're all done rebooting something. Resurrecting something that's past its expiration date. They're done. It's time to move on. I got judgment here. And what, what the fuck? Where is it? And I've got the world here in the overall energy of the whole thing. This tells me we have to pass judgment to get to the world. Anytime you see the world, wherever it is, if you get judge, if it's like this and I get judgment on the table, I have to read it with the world. And I'm seeing it here. I'm seeing what looks like the world turning, the wheel turning. This applies to all of you. I mean, this is, this is some major shit. These people, we started this reading with somebody putting ten swords in something on their side. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Jesus Christ. 
Uh, something's turned on whatever was ten pentacles for this person. Whatever was ten pentacles, these are all powerful cards. Even the minor arcana that came out is massive. Okay, whatever was ten pentacles, a marriage, a relationship, a family dynamic, a career that, that they're, they're just done. And this something's happened here in this energy. And I think it all happens, like I said, around you know eclipse season. This is a big week. You know, I've pulled on most of this energy. Saturn going direct, Scor Venus and Scorpio, the eclipse. Uh, the eclipse I'm gonna pull on tomorrow. You know, but I've done Saturn going direct and Venus and Scorpio. And you saw those readings, I hope. This is major shit. I mean, that's it's just this is nice. I like this for Leo. I hope it sticks. Okay, this person has a terrible problem of thinking too much and chickening out. But they, they can't under this energy. There's no fear. Okay, Virgo. Seven swords. Somebody's going to... Hey, listen, I gave you the other day. I told you somebody got the hots for you. Okay, somebody's been holding back. It might be a friend. I think I said it might be a friend. It might be a co-worker. It might be somebody you live with. Or it might be, if you're in the right trailer park, a relative. Okay? I don't know. But somebody here is going to pull some shit. They're going to try and, and, and scam you. What, what, what we used to call scamming somebody. Scam the pants off them, right? Kind of a thing. Tell, tell the girl what they want to hear. Kind of a, Somebody here, I don't know. This is deception. There's deception here. Now, it could just mean, we'll see when we clarify... I read the deception energy, and for some of you, it could just mean somebody here is pretending that you guys are just buddies, but they want to bang you. I'm not getting anything about a runner here. I'm, I'm not. I'm getting an energy around you. It's like a fucking singles read. I'm getting an energy around you that's pretending that, oh yeah, we're just friends. It's fine. Oh sure, I'll hold your bikini for you while you change. Yeah, and they're loving every bit of it. Okay? They're way beyond just being friends. Could even be somebody just to be your friend who told you they were gay. Right? That happens. You know? It's true. And they're not. <laughs> they're really just into you. They just figured you wouldn't be friends with them if you weren't. That's for somebody watching. Right? It really is. You know, People, people do the darndest things, man. People are fucking crazy. Alright, why is the Seven of Swords here? Why? Well, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's working you. Okay? You don't know it. It's deceptive. Somebody's working you. And this week, it's going to reveal itself. In this week's energy. Again, I'm not a time lord. Right? It's not about our calendar. It's about the energy that's here. But you all are moving at different speeds on your timeline. It takes you a different amount of time to catch up to it than other people. Some people are in the middle of this right now. This happens. My readings happen in real time for them. But for others of you, you might have to wait a week or two. I don't know. What's on top? The Emperor. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's a very ego-based move on somebody's part. You're a bit of a conquest, aren't you? You're probably hot like the Scorpios. Why is the... Uh, or you're very... Virgos are very appealing right now. They are very attractive within the energy of the soulmate cycle. So if you're Virgo, you're pretty hot right now. If you don't think you are, you best start thinking it. Stop thinking, maybe. You start just allowing yourself to feel that you are. Why is the emperor here? Mm -hmm. uh, the page of Swords. Um, that runner is showing up here. They're still disappointed. You know, you, you hurt their ego, right? But they sort of look away from it. They just kind of run away from it and don't like to think about it anymore. Primary energy here is somebody scamming you. Somebody's scamming on you. They're trying to get in your pants. Somebody who is pretending to be one thing or not interested, but they actually are interested. Okay? Uh, they're doing it. Uh, there's a bit of ego in play here, and they, they, they may spy on you. Okay? They all, you're all they think about. I'm drawn to the little dots around the barn owl. They're very into you. Nothing compares to you. And no, I'm not going to do redneck Sinead and make Ireland cry. I will not do that. Okay? But... I will not do that again. I felt really bad about that. They all a lot of redheads over there. You know how I feel about that. I don't want them crying. But anyway, nothing compares to you. They may, this energy can also, I will tell you, be a little bit of a peeping Tom. I didn't, I don't joke about anything or fuck around about anything in the, uh, in my, you know, with the words I say, the metaphors I give, the jokes, the, the dirty jokes, whatever, that isn't in the energy. 
I did that little joke about I'll hold your bikini for you while you change. Don't worry, I'm gay. I don't care. Right? Somebody full of shit. They're not gay. They definitely do care. And then, and they're loving what they're seeing. All right? Somebody somebody here, a little, there's a little pervy energy here. Okay? I want you to be careful. Watch it. It's building. It's something that's been building over time. All right? If you want to bang them, bang them. That's fine. I don't fucking care. I just don't, I, I just, I'm, I'm just here to tell you the energy. Somebody is being deceptive, okay? And it's eyes wide open, all right? Wake up. Libra, page of wands. Your person's reaching out. He's taking, I like the page of wands. He's a little adventurer. Some, somebody's reaching out. Somebody wants to bring you into reality. Again, I said yesterday, I think I told you, you're in somebody's spank bank. And they want to bring it to reality. I said that. And here it is. Page of Wands. Uh, why is the page here? Why? Yeah. Uh, two soulmates about to come together have a conversation. It's a good conversation. With the Page of Wands, they want to make it work. They, may, they might be being a little cautious. They might come across a little small talky. They might be a little nervous. Not afraid. But it's okay to be a little nervous. Even when there's no fear, we could still have a little, you know, twinge. What's on top here? Death. Holy shit. That's awesome. Big change coming. Big change here. Big. Uh, that's That energy of change has just been coming off the death card for the last couple of months. I can't get anything else. Sometimes I get transformation and rebirth. Words like that. It's just big change. Why? Why is the death card here? Oh shit. Good lord. You and Leo's person. You and Leo should go hang out and have lunch. You guys are getting some wicked readings here. Tower. This person shows up. Big change. What did I say? Big change. This person shows up out of nowhere. You're not even expecting this. And I wouldn't blame you because I tell you every week someone's reaching out because that's what comes up. That's what's here. I can't predict what a 3D person's going to do. I cannot predict free will. I could just give you the energy. The energy's been there for you two to talk forever. I'm sick of telling you somebody's reaching out. Now the universe is telling you, not me. It's major arcana. Both. Powerful. On top of a little pagey. This fucking page is showing up and it's probably going to surprise the living shit out of you. I, I, it's, it would certainly surprise me. I'm tired of getting sugarcoating for fucking Libra. Alright, Hot Scorpio. Right? Hot Scorpio, the sign I'd most like to bang based on the energy that's here. Fucking hell. It'd be awesome. The star. Mmm. Ah. Uh, It's here. The energy is here for you two to bang and come together. I don't remember what I told you yesterday in the Friday reading. I don't have any idea. I am going to tell you to pay attention, Scorpio. Extra close attention to the Saturn Direct reading. Okay? That's all I'm going to tell you. I don't know why. I just taste it in the energy. Okay? Let's go. Star. The energy is here for you two to come together. All right? This is like you. This is you. You're already naked. You can go ahead and already get naked. Okay? Just just already be just fine. You'll be all right. You, you, you by the time you start to get cold, right? You get a bit of a chill, that somebody will be there to take care of you. That's what the energy is saying. I don't believe it. I don't know about the 3D person, but the door is wide open. Everybody can see. And it's fine. If you look like that, everybody can see. That's fine. Here we go. The star Hot Scorpios. Yep. It's right there. Ace of Wands. You look <laughs> you look like that. Alright? You answer the door like that, somebody's wand is up. I'll tell you what. Right there. Ace of Wands. Crossing it. It's a passionate new beginning. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I mean, I... I male or female, it doesn't matter. I have to go with the gender of the cards, but I mean... Four swords on top of that. It's been a period of inactivity. The door is open, but see, this is why I didn't believe it, in part, on the 3D person side, because the door is open, but the crickets are chirping. So what? So basically, it's it's there. It's, the universe is like, go on in, go on in. Scorpio, hot Scorpio, already naked. You got your wand up. Go for it. And it's just, it's it's almost like somebody is out there. You know, somebody's out there. You can feel them out there, but you can't see them, right? It's like, like those people that look for Bigfoot, you know? 
You can smell them, but, but you can't see it. Why is the Four of Swords here? Knight of Wands. Because they, they're just getting up the nerve a little bit. They just, it's something, again, it's this flash, poof, energy of somebody just showing up. It's a brave, impulsive action. The door is open, just the energy, the energetic door is open. This person is likely to just show up when you least expect it. Maybe you're just getting out of the shower or something. I don't know. Show up when you least expect it. It's there. It, the energy is there for you two to come together and to bang. I will be honest with you. There's a strong attraction here on someone's part towards you. Um, including with me. I mean, I love that energy. It's nice. Uh, Sagittarius. I can dig it. Except I'd already be in there. Lovers. Sagittarius. This person got a lot of healing to do in this person. Self-healing. Um, anyway, Sagittarius, the lovers, somebody's showing up. Oh, I am so glad this came up. I think you had the Six of Cups yesterday. Here's, your th here, here's the deal, Sagittarius. Six of Cups, if I remember it, I don't remember, I only remember a few of the cards from the Friday reading. If I remember the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups and the lovers have to go together. And the Six of Cups and the lovers together is a deep soul connection. Could be twin flame. Okay? And that is a very powerful energy. Somebody, you have a very powerful soulmate that's about to show up from your past who's very nostalgic about you. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not that opportunist person that we've been, that comes up every fucking week for you. Just because you have a deep soul connection with them doesn't mean that they got their shit together in this lifetime. Okay? You know, that's part of the reason you two are probably coming together is to help them wake their soul up a little bit. Just like my job is to wake your soul up. Alright? So, let's see. The lovers, why is it here? Let's see, is Steve right or is Steve wrong? Yeah, he's right. Mm, sorry to say. I mean, I'm not sorry to say. It's not really the opportunist energy. But there is some hidden secrets here. Somebody is approaching, but there's their soul is, is off a little bit. Okay, they're keeping a lot hidden. Their, their, their motives are hidden. Something's hidden. Okay? It just is. It's a similar energy to what I felt over here, except this person is hidden in the dark, right? And Scorpio can kind of feel them, but they're going to show up. They're going to just pop in. They're just a little bit, I don't know, skittish, if you will. This here, somebody's hiding something. Somebody's motives are hidden. It's a deep soul connection. Your job is to suss this out, is to get them to open up, to wake their soul up. Once you do, I think they're a decent person in there. You wouldn't have a deep soul connection with them if they weren't, if, they, if their soul wasn't like yours. They have, there has to be a match. Like energy attracts like energy. You don't have a soul connection with somebody who's not like you, right? Well, I'm, I'm saying right. Yes, right. Uh, the hangman, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's a, that's a spiritual journey, okay? It's your job to put this person on a spiritual journey, whoever this is that's showing up, okay? It is, I'm not saying it's your runner that you think it is. I can't even say that. All I can say is some you have a deep soul connection that is showing up. Okay? And they might be and that nostalgia they're feeling might just be past life energy that they feel that you guys had together. This person's soul needs to be woken up. It's your job to wake them up, to trigger them, to say some things. Reject them maybe if if you feel something's off, right? If something's not right, you think they're not done cooking, reject them. Whatever it is, I don't know. It's going to play out differently for all of you. But you play a very important role in this person's development, right? You guys are already together in the 5D. I can tell you that. Why is the hangman here? Because I don't know. You know the judgment. Very powerful card. These are powerful cards. All, all major arcana. You beat Leo. If this were a poker game, and I got all excited about this. If this were a poker game, you beat Leo in that game. You take all the chips. This is all major arcana. The base card, the crossing card, and the two cards on top. You've got some sort of destiny playing out here. Someone from your past is returning in need of a spiritual journey, a spiritual awakening, a spiritual jump start. That past can be past lives. All right? It does not have to be this lifetime. And if this at all resonates with you, this is for everybody. Okay, this could happen to any of you. This is in the very key position in this reading, the ninth position. That's a very, well, that's a very spiritual position, isn't it? The ninth house, right? This is ninth house matters if you want to talk astrology here. And this is some spiritual shit. 
And it's it's angel energy. You're the angel. Okay? Alright, I'm just telling you. So this person's hiding some things. They may need some work. They may that's why the universe has been telling us about this opportunist. Beware of opportunists. Beware of this. This is actually a very important person, whoever this is, that's coming towards you. Alright? It could be that opportunist or it could just be someone new, but I, I kind of get the same energy here. We're just getting more of the story now and it's getting real because we're coming into eclipse season and Saturn direct and you know, all of that kind of stuff, okay? Uh, all right. That's all I got to tell you. Capricorn, Six of Swords. A conflict is about to be resolved. That's it. That's all I get off of it. I think it, it's more of a bygones be by, let bygones be bygones energy. I think somebody is coming in to communicate with you and they hope that you let bygones be bygones. I'm not sure what that means. Let's find out. I'm just reading the energy. That's all. Don't shoot the messenger. Six of Swords. Why is it here? Queen of Swords. Yeah. Um, don't. Don't. Somebody's coming in to try to sneak one past the Queen of Swords. Okay, they're going to. They just want to smooth things out. We just, I just want to start over. Can we let bygones be bygones? You can't unknow the bygones. The Queen of Swords it's, it holds the sword of truth. You can't unknow the truth. You can't let it go. It's not there. It needs to be discussed and dealt with. Okay? Make sure you have a conversation. That's especially important with Venus and Scorpio. As you will learn on the Venus and Scorpio reading if you haven't watched it yet. Alright? It is a very important reading. I know some people might glaze over it, but it is a very important reading. Uh, the uh, Seven of Cups. Yeah. Oh, let's forget about this. Let's just do this. Yeah, it's the bygones energy. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Six of Swords. Six of Swords on top of Six of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Do not. This person will play the shell game with you, right? They're not go you're not going to accept anything but an honest, deep conversation that's all about truth. You want to know the truth. You want to know what happened. You want to discuss it to make sure it doesn't happen again. You have a chance at a relationship with this person. There is a rainbow here. But only if an honest discussion is had. Adult conversation about what happened. No let bygones be bygones. I'm just so happy to see you. You're hot. Let's do it. Let's bang. Let's have a relationship. Because that shit will come back to haunt you later. Because it can't be unknown. Can't be forgotten. That energy remains. Doesn't go away. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It just transforms. It come, that's why it comes back to bite you in the ass. Alright. Or transmutes, if you will. Aquarius. Ace of Cups, Aquarius, my God, it's always... Aquarius is the douche commercial of the Zodiac, I swear to God. It's fucking unreal. Um, I don't have anything about a runner here, Aquarius. This is just all about you. Your, your, your life is flowing. If it's not yet, it will be soon. Okay? Just the cup overfloweth. Okay? The cup is overfloweth. Alright? I don't know. Uh, why is the Ace of Cups here? I don't have any incoming energy on this. I just have you. Alright. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Aquarius? Why? Yeah, it's the Page of Wands. You're just exploring new territory. And it's, it, each time you do, you grow. You learn something new every day, maybe. You see something new every day. You're experiencing new things. I mean, it's beautiful energy. What's all top? Eight of Cups. You just keep walking toward... If it's eight broken cups, you're just moving towards your nine of cups. And that's why the, you're just keeping the water flowing. You're doing what you're supposed to do because when the ace of cups isn't flowing, it's toxic. And you are. You're, you're, you're just moving toward your nine cups. If it's eight broken cups, it's not for me. I move forward here and move on. Stick and move. Stick and move. You're just doing that. And you're exploring new things. Okay. Um, and this is what all of you should be doing. Aquarius is an example here. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Jesus. The Knight of Swords. Again, speaking your truth. In doing that, you know, again, it takes a lot of... This is why the Eight of Cups is here. Why are you able to just walk away from Eight Broken Cups and keep walking towards your Nine Cups? Because as soon as they're broken, you spot it and you talk about it. You say, these are broken. I'm gone. Bye-bye. All right? 
speaking the truth. Saying, is, is, uh, Knight of Swords always has a very specific message. In other words, you're on point. Mm. Pisces. All right. We started with a hell of a section up here. All right, about fear being gone and forward movement. This has been a powerful reading. The soulmate cycle is getting crazy. When I first got here to YouTube, surface reads were never going to cut it. All right. I know y'all cheat on me and you watch other people. Be careful. All right. All right. Make sure you get your medical advice from doctors. Make sure you get under this energy. You know, make sure you get your medical advice from doctors, your auto mechanic advice from, from ASE certified mechanics. Not some schmo in a damn forum board somewhere who thinks he can kind of work on a car. Right? And make sure you get your information about your soulmate cycle from actual energy readers. Or oh, you're fucked in this cycle. This is massive energy. Okay, there's a lot going on underneath the surface, and it's a lot more than they feel regret, and they're gonna, and they feel pain, and they're turning around and coming back. These people are all coming, <clears throat> all coming back with red flags attached, and those red flags run deep, deep in the energy. Knight of Swords. Look at that. Back to back, Knight of Swords came out from two different decks. It's extremely important here. Knight of Swords. This is somebody in the Pisces angle. You're tied over here always to the Leo angle. Something's about to pop here. There's a massive change coming. You're going to hear something from somebody that is going to blow your fucking mind that you never thought you would hear. But it's very swordsy. So you have to be very careful how you approach this. I would greet the swords with cups. All right. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why? Why? Why is the Knight of Swords here? <laughs> Card just flew out and fell on the floor. And he's staring right at me. All right. I'm done shuffling. Yep. Eight of Swords. Crossing is the Eight of Swords. On top is the Devil. A goat with its feet on fire. <laughs> right? Um, and why is the Devil? We might as well pull the rest. Why is the Devil here? Four of Pentacles. We end. I love this. This is awesome, right? It's a true story. It's a true book. It ends. The ending should tie up the beginning. The Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. Our very first card on the table was the Four of Pentacles. Our very last card is the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is why the devil is here. Somebody here has been in their head, been holding back, been biting their tongue, right? Not saying what they want to say. Maybe feeling trapped because this is tied directly to Gemini. The message I gave there. The universe for some reason is handing them. Because the devil was crossing here. We have a devil here. The universe is handing them that ace of pentacles. In the Pisces angle, the person takes it. Because we have a four of pentacles here. This is tied to this. And because it's tied to Aries, somebody gives the full cup. Because they put ten swords in whatever has been getting in their head. Ten swords through this goat means goat soup. Okay? Goat stew is what they're having. Somebody's not holding back anymore. It's all sitting on top of a knight of swords. And they come charging in. They might have a little diarrhea of the mouth. All right? They might say some things that maybe they shouldn't have said. Or things might slip out or whatever. It happens. Shit happens. But it's all for the positive. It's all very nice. It's all because somebody's breaking free here. And I think this sums up it for everybody. I think everybody's person has is 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 trapped in some way in a, in a life that it didn't turn out the way they expected. Okay? And they're all sitting in three swords and they all got to do something about that three swords. And that that comes up in the readings all the time, the all signs readings. And this is just an all signs reading. This this would be the focal point, the, the cancer position, the host if you will. And we got that three swords that they need to solve. And the rest of it just explains why and what they're doing about it. And a lot of these, and this, this is encouraging with the Leo angle. This is somebody here who's all done. Something's, some major fight's about to happen here on their side that's going to bring them, it's going to make them, again, it's tied with Pisces, make them do things that they couldn't do before, that they felt trapped, that they felt like they couldn't do. There's a strong energy in all of this of somebody who longs for the things they can't have. And that can even apply in the Virgo angle. Right? It applies in the soulmate angle. But if you think about it, 
I, I, when I talked about Virgo, I talked about somebody here who wants to bang them, who pretends that, that, they, that they don't, or that they're just a friend, or that they're just a co-worker, or that they're just a cousin if they're in the right tra trailer park. Either way, somebody here longs for the things they can't have, and it's building to a pressure cooker point in this energy during eclipse season in particular, but led into by Saturn Direct. Very important reading I pulled. Venus and Scorpio helps make it clearer. It's where a lot of the clarity comes from, the clarity of emotion, right? Venus, uh, Saturn Direct removes the fear, but we've got a lot of things happening here. That, that longing for things they can't have and a snapping point where they just go get it. Let's talk to the witches and let's pull three. Let's have the universe add all of this up. All of it. Oh, with three cards and a bottom card. And I don't know how it's going to do it. But it's going to. I promise you. Give me three cards and a bottom card. Add all this up for me if for no other reason so I can get a title. Mm-mm-mm. Why, why, why? What's going on here? Give me three cards and a bottom card universe for the week of the 23rd to the 29th of October, 2022. Rocktober. I'm telling you, this is why it's Rocktober. It really is. I swear to God, this is fucking unreal. Where is it? Where is it? See it? The hangman? See that? The hangman. Again? And the Friday reading, I know Aries, it started with a hangman on the table. I'm sure of that. We got hangmans all over the place. This is a... And the chariot underneath it. It's all about to end. The, the stopping. The nothing happening. The not realizing what the lessons are. I told you. I just got done. I gave a whole dissertation on a dam about to break. It's, it's, it is. It is. This hangman, is, it's all done. It's time. This, this raven's chewing the rope. This son of a bitch going to fall right out of the tree. The emperor drives the chariot. They have to. All of these runners, all of them have to resolve these, this three of swords. However, whatever that three of swords is. There's a lot of tension here. Which is why Virgo should be careful. There's a lot of sexual tension here from somebody who's been pretending that they're not that interested in you. Can't take it no more. That can lead to some dangerous shit. I want you to be careful. I'm not saying that for all of you. But I am saying, you know, watch who you hand your bikini to. Okay. End of, end of story here. Hangman crossing the center card. I'm going to pull with a chariot fuel in it. Let's go. Emperor. The emperor who drives the chariot is about to fucking reach out. Forward movement. As if we didn't even need the, to know that the chariot was here. The hangman is crossing the Eight of Wands. Something's about to happen here. The Emperor, the Divine Masculine, drives the chariot. He's about to get up out of that chair and come over to where you are because he can't take it anymore. They look like they're having fun. And I'd like to bang the little one on the left. and But I can't because I'm sitting here. I'm all just fucking stuck in this throne with all this shit. And I'm done. I'm finished. You saw that play out here with Leo. You saw it play out here with Pisces. You saw it play out here with Cancer who got the chariot. It's all over the place. It played out with Aries. Y'all connected. You're all part of a cycle. Everything matters. And there's a lot of crisscrossing in this reading. What's read with the Emperor? Fuck my ass and it's all because of the eclipse. There it is. Judgment with the eclipse on it. Done. I rest my case. I don't have a mic to drop. I'm just going to drop this. Everything I've been telling you this month is culminating here in eclipse season. It's judgment. It's someone from the past coming into your present that you probably don't think you're going to hear from showing up to affect your future. Or you find out something. It can be that. I cannot predict what a 3D person's going to do. That is predicting free will. That would make me a trillionaire if I could do that. Countries would be contacting me. They'd be calling me up. Steve, can we tell, tell me exactly what this person's going to do? Oh my God. I, I could name my price. You know, king's ransom in gold. Nobody can do that. But I can tell you what the energy is. And the energy is right here. This sums up everything perfectly. It's even got an eclipse on it. That emperor is getting up, driving the chariot. It's been the hangman. They've learned some lessons. They've done some thinking. They've been on a spiritual journey. The universe has put them there. They, they weren't watching tarot readings, so it's taken a while. They weren't reading books. Or if they were, they were reading the wrong books. 
But it's finally, it's time for them to go. The Ravens chewing the rope here. We see it. It's up to their free will. It's minor arcana here. Major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. But the base energy is minor. It's up to their free will. But this is all about communication with the blue in the background. And this card has some purple. I don't know if you can see it on my camera, but it's off in here. It gets a little purpley. Purple is magic. Yeah, there's a lot of magic in the air right now. If you don't believe in magic, I'm sorry. So what, what's happened to you that you've lost your faith in magic? It's, it exists. There is magic. And it's all around us right now. And it's called the month of fucking Rocktober. And I, everything I predicted back in September about this month, even that blog article I wrote about it, has come true in the cards that I've been throwing. This right here just blew my fucking mind that that's there. And it's all because we got the eclipse this week. It starts eclipse season. Pay attention and pay attention to all the readings I pull this week that go up. Pay attention to the uh, uh, eclipse reading, which will go up on Sunday. Pay attention to the November readings, which are soon to follow after that. It's going to be something else. It's nice. If nothing else, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a phoenix rising for the ashes time in the eclipse season for you. Make sure you take your lessons out of this. this. This, These runners are a cautionary tale. Okay? There won't be another month like October 2022 for quite some time. Alright? That's why I'm sticking a little extra on this video. I'm kind of saying goodbye to October with this video. It's the last chance I get to talk to you about it. To remind you not to let this energy slip you by. Don't let it pass you by. Do not. This is, this is an incredible energy of change. You can change bad habits. You can change bad thought patterns. Everything in this energy. Don't get in your head about it. Just allow the energy to flow. The runners, a good number of them are going to show up in this energy. I have no doubt about it. But October will be remembered if you played your cards right. No pun intended. Uh, it'll be remembered as the time when everything changed. Especially around right now. You know. Absolutely. Mid, mid October on. The 1010 portal was the game changing point. It changed, it was a new chapter, or well, even a new book, if you will. All the energies that come after it the Saturn Direct, and the uh, Scorpio, Venus and Scorpio, and the Eclipse reading, and all of that. Jupiter sliding back into uh, Pisces. That's a big deal. That enhances the Jupiter, the Venus and Scorpio energy, which is all about. Um, quality of relationships and wanting things that are real. Well, Jupiter sliding back into Pisces does that too. You know, it's very important. Yeah, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful to you. Okay. Um, as far as these runners go and the actions they're likely to take, the Eight of Wands says it all. But it is up to their free will, and it is all about the eclipse in, in, in as far as it pertains to the soulmate cycle. It's all about eclipse season this year here. Okay. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Stay tuned for the Eclipse reading on Sunday. You should already have access to Saturn Direct and Venus and Scorpio. Watch them both. They're very important. I would not, I'm not shitting you. This, this month, I'm going to miss this month. I am. It's been a very special month. And uh, if you missed it, try to think back on what you could have learned from it. And you can still take advantage of the energy. All right, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right, good luck.